Welcome to West Coast Wednesdays. I'm Mark Herzl, the District Manager here at A.N. Derringer in Los Angeles, California. Hey, today I'd like to share some information with you about the different types of containers. Containers come in a number of standard sizes, with the most basic standard size being a 20-foot container, also known as a TEU, which stands for 20-foot equivalent unit. Now, the next most common is a 40-foot container, sometimes called an FEU for 40-foot equivalent unit. Now, it's the exterior length of the containers that we are referring to when we say TEU or FEU. And the exterior width of the containers is also standard. They're always eight feet wide. Now, the standard exterior height is eight foot six inches, but there are also some high cube containers which are one foot taller and stand at nine foot six inches. And although there may be some slight variance or differences of an inch or less in the interior dimensions of these containers, it's these standard sizes that make ocean containers so stackable and interchangeable across the various modes of transportation of truck, ocean, and rail. Now, although 20s, 40s, and 40 high cubes make up the vast majority of the container inventory, there are also some 45 foot high cube containers, and in some extreme cases, 48 and 53 foot containers out there also, but that's very specialized equipment. Now, the maximum weight of the containers, as indicated on the back of the doors, varies. However, if containers were ever loaded anywhere near that maximum weight indicated, it would be far, far too heavy to be allowed for movement on public roads at either origin or destination. Now, in addition to these dry containers, there are reefer containers, short for refrigerated containers, that are also available. These types of containers can keep your shipment either slightly chilled or as cold as negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. These are sized like uh, dry containers, 20, 40, and 40 high cube, but the insulation and the refrigeration equipment greatly decrease both the interior volume and the gross cargo weight capacity of the, what you're going to carry. Now, if your cargo can't fit inside one of these boxes, don't worry, there are still options. 20, 40, and 40 foot high cubes also come in a convertible version, which has a removable canvas top to help keep any moisture out. Though it's not quite as watertight as a standard container. Another advantage is, though, it allows you to drop the products in from the top, such as when loading uh, pipe or machinery, which can't always be loaded through the doors. It also allows for goods to stick out higher than the rim of the container wall. Now, if your shipment is both too tall and too wide to fit into any of the above, never fear, the flat rack container is here. These are like flat bed truck trailers that can accommodate cargo exceeding the standard dimension in all directions. Now, whatever the dimensions of your cargo, uh, there are options between weight and volume constraints. It's a good idea to discuss the right container size with a qualified freight forwarder, such as Derringer. Now, armed with this information, go out there and have yourself a great Wednesday.